Understanding what's in your body is a vital step towards achieving and maintaining optimal health. By gaining insights into the essential components in your body, you can make more informed decisions about your health journey. In this video, we'll guide you through the InBody 270S result sheet, breaking down each section to help you interpret your results and understand what they mean for your body. Unlike conventional weighing skills that only give you a single number, the InBody device uses bioelectrical impedance analysis to offer a comprehensive look at each of these components. Let's begin with the body composition analysis found in the top sections of the result sheet. This area provides a detailed breakdown of your body's main components which are body water, protein, minerals and body fat mass. These components collectively determine your total body weight. Body water is the largest component of the human body making up approximately 50-70% to 70 of your total body weight. This water is distributed throughout your muscles, cells, blood and other bodily fluids playing a vital role in maintaining overall fluid balances. Protein serving as the building block for muscle. A low protein content may indicate low muscle mass which can affect overall strength. The mineral content is divided into two categories, osseous minerals which are found in your bones and non-osseous minerals present in other parts of the body. Osseous minerals make up about 80% of the body's total mineral content, providing structural support to your skeletal system. Body fat mass reveals the amount of fat in your body, both at a surface level and internally around your organ. Both too little and too much fat can have long-term health implications. As you review this section, you'll notice two numbers for each component. The larger number represents the current amount of fat components in your body, while the smaller number in the brackets indicates the normal range that is ideal for your body. Understanding these numbers will help you assess whether your current body composition is within the ideal range or if adjustments are needed to achieve optimal health. Now, let's move on to the muscle fat analysis section. This part of the report breaks down your body weight into two essential components, skeletal muscle mass SMM and body fat mass BFM. The bars in this section visually represents whether each of these parameters falls into the under, normal or over categories. This section also helps you evaluate your body shape by examining the balance between your SMM and BFM. To determine your body shape, simply connect the ends of three bars and observe the pattern they form. First, we have C shape which stands for cautious. This shape indicates that your SMM is lower than your BFM, suggesting a need for increased focus on muscle development and potentially reducing excess fat if it falls into the over category. Next is the I shape, representing ideal. Here, all three bars align, reflecting a balanced body composition. Finally, there's D shape, which stands for developed. This is the most desirable body shape where your SMM is higher than your BFM, indicating strong and well-developed muscles. For optimal health, aim your SMM to be in the normal or over category while keeping your BFM within the normal range. Next, let's step into the obesity analysis section which provides crucial insight into two key parameters BMI, body mass index and PBF, percent body fat. First, there's BMI. BMI is a simple calculation based on your weight and height commonly used to categorize individuals as underweight, normal weight, overweight or obese. However, BMI has its limitation because it only considers weight and height without accounting for body composition. For example, muscular individuals might be labeled as overweight or obese based on their BMI alone even if they have a healthy body composition. On the other hand, someone with a normal BMI could still have a high PBF especially if their muscle mass is low and their body fat is disproportionately high. This is why it is essential not to rely solely on BMI but to pay closer attention to your PBF. PBF represents the ratio of body fat to your total body weight and provides a more accurate picture of your health. Assessed body fat, particularly when it exceeds healthy levels, can lead to various health issues, even if your BMI appears normal. A healthy PBF range is 10 to 20% for men and 18 to 28% for women. 
Maintaining your PBF within this normal range is crucial for reducing the risk of obesity-related conditions and promoting overall well-being. Next, let's examine how to assess muscle development in different body parts using segmental lean analysis. This section provides two key measurements, the kilogram value and the percentage value. The kilogram value shows the amount of lean mass including body water, minerals and protein in specific body segments such as your arms, legs and trunk. This measurement indicates the muscle mass present in each area. The percentage value on the other hand represents how well the lean mass in each segment supports your body weight. A 100% value indicates that the segment has adequate lean mass to effectively support your body weight. In addition to assessing lean mass, the segmental fat analysis allows you to evaluate fat distribution across different body segments. This section provides both kilogram, kg and the percentage readings. The kg value indicates the amount of fat mass in each segment such as your arms, legs and trunks. The percentage value compares this fat mass to an ideal range which is typically between 80 to 160% with 100% being the ideal value. Understanding these values is crucial for assessing whether your fat distribution is balanced and falls within a healthy range. Now that we have explored the left side of the result sheet, let's move on to the right side. Let's start by examining the parameter known as whole body face angle. Face angle serves as an indicator for evaluating nutritional status by assessing the integrity of the cells. It represents the angle of resistance of the cellular membrane where a larger angle reflects better cell health. In healthy, well-nourished cells, the cell membrane is thicker, causing the current to take more time to pass through. This results in a larger angle of resistance and consequently a higher face angle. Conversely, in unhealthy or malnourished cells with thinner membrane, the current passes through more quickly, leading to a smaller angle of resistance and a lower face angle. A high face angle is associated with healthy cells and a better nutritional status, while low face angle is linked to unhealthy cells, malnutrition or other health issues. For this reason, monitoring cellular health from time to time and ensuring that the face angle remains within a healthy range is highly recommended. Now, let us see another parameter called visceral fat level. What is visceral fat? Our body stores two main types of fat, subcutaneous fat and visceral fat. Subcutaneous fat is the layer of fat just beneath the skin that you can pinch. Visceral fat, however, is more concerning because it surrounds your abdominal organs. High level of visceral fat are associated with an increased risk of non-communicable diseases, such as type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and some cancers. On your InBody 270S result sheet, it is recommended to maintain a visceral fat level below level 10 to help mitigate this health risk. Next, let's discuss the SMI, or Skeletal Muscle Mass Index, an important measure used to evaluate the risk of sarcopenia, a condition marked by the loss of muscle mass and strength. The SMI is calculated by dividing your total appendicular lean mass, the lean mass in your arms and legs by your height squared. A low SMI reading can indicate a higher risk of sarcopenia, which increases the chances of falls and fractures. Sarcopenia also has significant physical effects, such as persistent fatigue, poor coordination and balance, as well as an impaired physical function. To reduce this risk, it is important to maintain SMI values above the recommended thresholds 7.0 kg per m2 for men and 5.7 kg per m2 for women, as advised by the Asian Working Group for Sarcopenia EWGS. Values below these thresholds may suggest an increased risk of developing sarcopenia. Let's dive into an interesting parameter, calorie expenditure of exercise. This feature calculates the number of calories you burn during a 30-minute workout tailored to your current body weight. Now, let's explore how InBody evaluates your body composition using the InBody score. This comprehensive measure assesses your overall body composition by evaluating your fat and muscle control based on the weight control parameter. 
Simply put, a lower in body score indicates a greater need for improvement in your body composition. Scores above 80 place you in the healthy category with no major improvements needed for your body composition. We have now reached the final sections of the result sheet, Body Composition History. This section features a graph that tracks changes in your body composition over time, focusing on key components such as weight, skeletal muscle mass, and percent body fat. The graph displays your data for the latest 8 results, allowing you to monitor your progress and assess the effectiveness of your health and fitness plan. By reviewing these trends, you can evaluate whether your interventions are working and make any necessary adjustments to achieve your goals. In conclusion, body composition goes beyond the simple notion of weight. It's about understanding the balance between your muscle and fat and how it impacts your health and fitness. Prioritizing a healthy body composition will lead to more meaningful and lasting improvements in your overall well-being. Keep in mind, true health isn't just about the numbers on the scale, it is about building a strong and balanced body. Thank you.